What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another episode of What's New for Blue. So first off, before I begin with the brand new releases for this coming Tuesday, let's talk about my face because it is pretty noticeable and very obvious. And I'm filming this video early because I'm not sure if this is going to get worse as the day goes on. I was working today, driving around like I normally do. I had the AC blasting because I noticed that this started happening. It's very warm to the touch. I'm not really sure why this is happening right now, but I decided to stop work for the day because it's kind of embarrassing. And yes, I am taking medication to keep this at bay, but for some reason, if I'm gonna have a flare up, I'm gonna have a flare up. My skin will not take no for an answer. So I'm gonna stay indoors for the rest of the day today. Hopefully this will go away, but just to let you guys know, this is not an everyday occurrence. It's every once in a while, and I have to put out a video regardless, so it is what it is, as I like to say. So now let's talk about the brand new releases this coming Tuesday. We finally have some brand new releases to get excited about. So let's start off with The Marvels. The Marvels is currently streaming on Disney+, Plus, but if you want that physical media, it will be available this coming Tuesday. So options are regular 4K, 4K Steelbook and also a regular Blu-ray, I'm assuming with a slipcover. Now, of course, you guys know I will be picking up this item. In fact, I did place my pre-order for the 4K Steelbook with Marvel and DC. It's so repetitive at this point, but in case anyone is new at the channel... I always pick up the 4K Steelbooks for Marvel and DC, and I actually like how this 4K Steelbook looks. I like the pattern. I like the colors being used. So as I said, I did pre-order this. It should be arriving shortly within the next couple of days. All right, next up is the Columbia Classics Volume 4 4k collection now i am waiting for this to go down in price and i will let you know what movies are in the collection set in just a second but i am waiting for the price point to go down because currently and i've been checking currently it is still over 200 dollars I will not pay that. And actually, Mama Blu-ray is going to gift this to me for my Valentine's Day gift. But I'm just waiting for the price to go down. If it goes down to about $150 around there, I guess I will pull the trigger on this item and get it because I don't want to miss out on it entirely. But these sets in the past have gone down greatly to almost about $100. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait for that because I am kind of afraid that they will sell out, but I don't want to pay over $200. I've never paid over $200 for these collection sets. So I'm going to wait out this one, but I definitely want it. Now, if you are interested in the Columbia Classics Volume 4, here are the six movies included. His Girl Friday, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Kramer vs. Kramer, Starman, Sleepless in Seattle, and Punch Drunk Love. So there's a lot of great movies in this box set, a lot of variety. So I'm looking forward to picking it up when I can. All right, next we have Footloose. Footloose. That's it. It's all I'm going to do. Not sure if it's copyright or whatever, so we'll just stop right there. So Footloose, for its 40th anniversary, is getting a 4K upgrade. It's about gosh darn time. Plus, I've never seen the movie. I've mentioned this before. I've seen bits and pieces of Footloose, but not the entire movie from beginning to end in one sitting. Obviously, I know this is Kevin Bacon. This like jump started his career, you know, besides Friday the 13th. So options for Footloose, we have regular 4K with a slipcover and also a 4K steelbook. You know, I pre-ordered this 4K steelbook. Just by looking at the picture alone, it could be in the running for one of the steelbooks of the year. It just looks incredible. It's got a great pattern, great color usage, things that I look for with steelbooks. So I am so excited to get the steelbook in my hand and unwrap it and just look everything over 
and watch the movie, of course. It's not all about the cover artwork, even though we all like to think so. It also is about the movie itself. So I am super excited to to receive Footloose and to watch it for the very first time. I mean, that's kind of like an 80s staple and I missed out on it. All right, next up on the list is The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Now this is get, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking of something else and my mouth said a different item. Okay, Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. We are getting, there we go, regular 4K a 4K steelbook, and also a regular Blu-ray, again, assuming with a slipcover. Now, yes, I definitely want to pick up this item. However, I did not pre-order it because I was not sure if Lionsgate was going to send a copy over or not. I don't think I'm going to get one at this point. However, I'm still going to hold off. I'm not sure if I'm going to go out there on Tuesday and pick it up. Potentially, we're getting a winter storm. Really? On Tuesday? We have been snow free for like two, three weeks now. And of course, the one Tuesday that I want to go out and go Blu-ray hunting at Walmart, they're predicting a winter storm three to five inches, of course. So I'm not sure if I'm going to head out on that day. We will see. But I did not pre-order the 4K Steelbook. That is my preference because I have all the previous Hunger Games movies in that nice Lionsgate box set, the Steelbook box set that they sent over to me. So I, I would like to continue with the Steelbook. So I do prefer the Steelbook. So we'll see. We'll see what happens on Tuesday. But I'm definitely interested in seeing this movie because it's one that I missed out on at the theater. Okay, here we go. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage in Willy's Wonderland. Willy's Wonderland is getting a 4K upgrade. The options are a regular 4K. I do not think this is coming with a slipcover and also a 4K steelbook. Yes, I ordered this item. I pre-ordered this one as well. My preference was the 4K steelbook. It just looks like it's fun. Fun little steelbook. So yes, I've seen the movie one time and I upgraded. It's the cage. So I upgraded to, I don't know, should I be embarrassed? Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, I did. I, guilty pleasure, I guess. It's for Nicolas Cage. I upgraded and I picked up the 4K Steelbook. So again, that should be arriving within the next couple of days, hopefully. All right, then we have Priscilla Blu-ray and also Hypnotic on Blu-ray as well. Now, as far as Hypnotic goes, I actually streamed this on Peacock months ago. Why they're just now putting this movie out on physical media, I have no idea. Because this movie came out last year, like middle of the year. And six, eight months later, we're getting a Blu-ray release. So that's a little bit odd to me. But I already streamed this movie on Peacock. It's definitely a one-time watch for myself. I know I'll never watch the movie again. Yeah, it did have twists and turns. And normally that's my jam. Like I love twists and being surprised. But this movie, it didn't really work for me. I wanted the film to be something else entirely. And it really kills me because it's Ben Affleck. I've been on kind of like a Ben Affleck kick lately and, you know, supporting his movies and everything. And I don't know. I just didn't really care for this one. So that was disappointing. So I know I'm not going to pick up Hypnotic. Priscilla on Blu-ray, I'm going to stream the movie first because it's actually coming to Max on February 23rd. So I can wait, what, a week and a half, two weeks. I will stream it on Max. If I really enjoy the movie, then I will pick it up. Maybe I'll wait for a sale. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. But as of right now, I'm opting to stream. Okay, next up, the Universal Monsters, the Universal Classic Monsters 4K collection and also Planet Earth 3 on 4K. Now, the Universal Monsters, the Universal Classic Monsters, I'm missing classic. I don't know why, because I don't have it written down. The Universal Classic Monsters 4K collection this is an item that got delayed. This was supposed to come out, I think, three or four months ago. For some reason, they delayed the release of this physical media item. 
so now it's finally coming out. There are nine movies in this collection, and this is perfect for someone. If you did not pick up those Universal Classic Monsters box sets where there was four movies in volume one and four movies in volume two, if you did not pick those up at all, this is perfect for you. I would say go ahead, you get an extra movie, and you'd have everything that the box sets already put out. But personally for myself, I don't need this because I have those box sets already. So I don't feel the need to spend again for one extra movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need that. Plus, I still haven't seen all of the movies in those box sets. So I really need to dive into those and get into them and watch all those anyway. So I'm good with the Universal Classic Monsters, but it looks amazing. So I highly recommend it if you do not own any of those movies already. And as far as Planet Earth 3 on 4K, I just don't need this. It's not for me. I'm not a documentary watcher. And if I am, it's about like true crime or something. It's not about nature. I'm not huge into nature. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. It's just not my go-to. It's not... It's not in my wheelhouse, I guess, but I have heard, and I've said this before, that I've heard the Planet Earth 4Ks are absolutely gorgeous. They're amazing looking, so if you've been collecting these so far, then you might want to jump on this one, but personally, it's not for me, so I'm bypassing on both of those. All right, now we have some older titles that did get Blu-ray releases that are getting a 4K upgrade months and months later, and one movie is years later, and that is Harriet. Harriet is getting a 4K upgrade, and also Ticket to Paradise with Julia Roberts and George Clooney is getting a 4K upgrade as well. Now, Ticket to Paradise came out, what, last year? I never picked up the Blu-ray. I streamed the film on Peacock again. It was a one-time watch. It was a cute movie, a cute rom-com. It's great to see Julia Roberts and George Clooney back on the screen together, but I don't need this film. I don't need to have it. I probably won't ever watch the movie again, so I definitely don't need the 4K. And as far as Harriet, this movie is like a couple of years old and it's finally getting a 4K upgrade, but I've never seen it. I've never seen the film. I don't know if I'll ever want to see the film for some reason. I, I, don't, I don't know. Do I have the Blu-ray? I don't think I have the Blu-ray. I don't know. I just, I don't know on Harriet. Like, what do we think about this movie? I, I didn't really hear a lot of reviews or feedback about the film. Is it good? Yes, no. Possibly, maybe I'll pick this up in the future when it goes down in price on a sale, but I certainly will not pay full price for this. So I will eye it. I'll eyeball the price. And if it goes down to like, $13.99 or $10.99. Okay, I'll pick it up down the line. But it's definitely not something I need to pick up right away. So Harriet is a possibility. Ticket to Paradise is a definite no. Don't need that 4K. I can say no. I can say no. It's possible. All right, then we have A Creature Was Stirring on Blu-ray and also Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny on Blu-ray. So Tenacious D, I don't need this. Like, I'm not that big of a fan of Jack Black to pick up this movie. Like, I understand Tenacious D is his, like, his band, you know, him and the other dude. and I get it, but I've never been into that side of Jack Black, so I don't need this. I have no attachments to it. And A Creature Was Stirring, I actually pre-ordered this one because I'm curious about this movie. I think it was cheap enough. It wasn't too expensive. I think it was like $14.99. And if it's another Christmas horror film, let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. Let's see. You never know. I may want to watch this every single holiday season because sometimes you just never know what's going to hit for you. So We'll see how I feel about A Creature is Stirring, and I could definitely review that in a future new release review, so <laughs> I'm imagining that'll be a lot of fun. So I did pre-order that item as well, and there's a lot of new releases. I'm still going, people. This is crazy. So The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Season 1, we have a Blu-ray steelbook and also just a regular Blu-ray. This is easy. I don't need this. 
I've said this before, I've mentioned it so many times, I think I'm 0.01% of the population that has never seen The Walking Dead. I just never got into it. Zombies really aren't my go-to when it comes to horror and I don't know, if I want to watch zombies, I can watch Night of the Living Dead. You know, like, I'm going to watch that over The Walking... I, I just have no interest. I just have no interest in watching The Walking Dead. And it just seems like The Walking Dead is spewing off all of these different spinoffs. And it, it's just kind of getting ridiculous at this point. Like, are we going to be able to let the show go at all in the future? Like, we're just going to ride it out and suck up as much money as possible but not for me because I don't need this. Like I said, no interest in The Walking Dead, so I am good. I am bypassing on Daryl Dixon. I don't even know who that is. All right. <laughs> now we have a couple of items from Arrow. We have Fear is the Key on Blu-ray and also the Shaolin Plot Blu-ray from Arrow as well. So anything from Arrow, if I am interested, I don't need to pick it up right away. Arrow always has sales going on. So personally for myself, I'm going to wait on both of these. I'm going to play it smart. I'm going to wait on both. And if I am interested in either one, I will just wait for that future sale. And we are finally at that point in our What's New for Blue for our Criterion of the Week. And the Criterion of the Week is Tales of the Four Seasons on Blu-ray. There are four movies in this little collection from Criterion. It's like fall season. This is what their names are. Fall season, winter season. It's literally Tales of Four Seasons. So I've never heard of this. I've never heard of this before. And if I've never heard of it, I definitely don't need it right away. But in particular, because it is a Criterion, I always wait for... What? The Criterion Sale. There we go. The Criterion Sale. I have plenty in the in the closet right now. I'm trying to work through that pile as much as possible. So I am good. I can always wait for July or November. So now we are getting to the point. Let me make sure I get this correct because in the last time I filmed this, I really butchered this part of the video because I hadn't filmed a What's New for Blue in about four weeks. So let me just think about it for a second. Now it's time to go over those titles that are available online or possibly at Walmart on DVD format. There, I got it right. Okay, and they are Alaska Seas, Man Eater of Kumon, and also Twilight. No, not Robert Pattinson Twilight, not K Stu Twilight. This is a different Twilight, so don't get confused. And also finally ending this video today with Let's Dance and also Blood on the Sun. So those are all the main brand new releases coming out this coming Tuesday. So comment down below and let me know. What do you... What, really? I was so perfect the entire video and now I mess up. Oh well, that's how I roll. Comment down below and let me know. What do you plan on targeting? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.